Hi! In this video, I will show you how to review your games on AI Sensei. On the menu bar above the board, you can change the game information. You can download the game as an SDF file if you want. You can start the tutorial, which hopefully you won't need anymore after this video. And you can delete the game, which uh, probably you shouldn't do right now. You can also enter full screen mode, see some more information, and uh, you can toggle whether the game is public. It won't get published anywhere, but when it's public, it means that you can uh, copy and paste the URL to your friends, and then if they know this URL, they can access the game. You can also share it on Facebook if you like, but in the future we will make it easier to share your games with friends on all sorts of social media. Finally, you can also tag the games. You can navigate using these blue buttons or your keyboard. You can also jump to the beginning or the end of the game, as you would expect. The only thing that might be new for you are these red buttons. They will take you to the next mistake. On the right side, we see that leg 37 was a mistake and that it loses about 5 points compared to the correct move. We also see that after this mistake, white is ahead by 8 or 9 points. On the board, we see that the mistake move has been marked red. And we also see these cute smileys on the white stones. Because actually, leg should have played A to capture the white stones. But because they didn't get captured, they are happy now. If we jump to another mistake, we see that now they are unhappy, because white should have saved them, but white didn't. A is the move that the AI considers best, but B and C would also be okay and much better than the game move. If you click on one of the proposed alternative variations, it will start playing the variation that it considers most likely to happen. As we have the high down quality right now, this variation will be very long. But uh, on the free version, it's typically like four moves for a variation. I wouldn't worry too much about all the details in the variation, as they can be very complicated. We can also navigate through it. So maybe it's uh, most important to just see the direction of all the moves that are played. Like two means that. Actually, the bottom side is quite important. And three means that, yeah, this shape is important. What should worry about this group still? Uh, yeah, you can navigate through the variation here. You can also start replaying them from the beginning, or you can uh, pause or start the automatic variation playing. Please note that when we are very deep in a variation, uh, it's actually less accurate that at the beginning. So the moves are usually good shape, but they weren't read as deep as the first move. So don't completely trust the move that was deep in a variation. It's rather a suggestion than a guarantee. Whenever you want to experiment with some moves on your own, you can open a trial board and click whatever moves you like. This trial board is just for yourself and won't get analyzed by the AI. But in the future, we are planning to implement the so-called live mode, where you can actually even send these positions to the AI again and get some feedback on your variations. The score graph on the right side shows how the game progressed over time. So in the beginning, it was very even, and white got a slight lead, and black, here white got a larger lead, and at the peak white was leading by almost 48 points. But then white lost it all. At some point black was leading by almost 58 points. In the end black won by a large amount. 
You can also click on the score graph to navigate to a move. Above the score graph, you see a list of White's mistakes. So the larger the red bar, the larger the mistake. You can also click there to jump to a mistake. And you can click the same mistake again to automatically start playing the alternative variation. You can click one more time to get back to the game. As we see here, White's biggest mistake in the game was this one. Dying with the whole group. Below the score graph, you see a list of black mistakes. And of course, you can click them as well. Per default, all moves that lose more than five points are considered to be a mistake. But you can change the setting here if you only care about the largest mistakes. Right now, move 108, which lost about eight points, is no longer a mistake because mistakes only start at 11 points. So we see that it's really the big blunders we see now. Of course, we can also do the opposite make it very sensitive so that even the tiniest inaccuracy shown as a mistake to study. Below, you see a more detailed list of all the mistakes depending on the current settings. You can also filter this list to show only the black or only the white mistakes. Finally, you can sort them to show you the biggest mistake first. So that's another way to quickly browse the most important points in your game. In the next videos, I will show you some of the more advanced features of AI Sensei, as well as our new quiz mode. So thanks for watching.